my name is Kristen Lucidi Doty. I have been a Wake County teacher for 14 years. I am currently a kindergarten teacher at Ballantyne Elementary. Two immersions we went on were Plexus and Basseth. At Plexus, they had similar resources like a scrum board, and they also tied in their four C's. At BASF, they emphasized teamwork, background knowledge was really important for them as well. With both immersions, they spoke highly about the soft skills and the importance of it when given a task to do, that it's important to anticipate mistakes and problem solve through those, as well as respecting deadlines, as sometimes you would complete your task and then send it over to the next team, and then they'd give it back to you because they needed it changed so that they can complete their task. One thing I did as a kindergarten teacher for my kindergartners was I wanted to lay down a strong foundation for them of understanding the four C's and also applying those soft skills. So we did some practice through two simple STEM pro, um, units that I gave them and it allowed them to problem solve and be creative and work together and get used to you know, reflecting on each other's work and um, thinking through those mistakes. Then they were ready for the hook. Once I gave them the hook for RPBL, I saw that in fourth grade they have a similar standard. So I had invited a fourth grade class to come and support us sometimes in our research. And it was great because they would work alongside the kindergartners, they would listen to the kindergartners' research and allow them to think more critically. And it really helped with communication among peers. Then we started looking deeper at understanding the animals in our neighborhood. We also sorted their habitats to see which ones were similar. We invited another guest speaker to come in, which is Mrs. Wall, and she did an activity on what happens when animals' homes change. Then she offered us an opportunity to foster a hurt turtle, and the children were able to see firsthand how an animal has to adapt to an environment that's different. And then once he was healed, we were able to release him back into his normal habitat, which was a huge celebration for us. I had used my science, my ELA, and my writing standards all immersed into this PBL, which was great instead of teaching it in isolation. So it really worked well together. Then I, again, emphasized that soft skills are so important for us to learn and apply. One trouble we had through this PBL was COVID-19. We had to stop what we were doing. So I started doing Google Meets and then I challenged the children to come up with ways that they think they can help animals with the changes in their environments. And so as you can see, some made bird baths, some made bird feeders or homes for the birds. Some found that their plant outside ended up having um, eggs being laid and so they wanted to take really good care of that plant so that the eggs would be safe. I really feel that PBL is a wonderful experience not only for the teachers but for the children and I feel like if we can start this in kindergarten I can't imagine how much more of a difference it could be for children as they get into the upper grades especially with the soft skills and everything and getting them prepared for career life when they go out into the world someday. Thank you for this experience.